Onivia League of Legends highlights. Emil, I do think that at the very least there is some actual punish potential, and this is all right. I'll take it. I do think right. combined with the hard engage that is available here, uh, having a reliable way, the engage potential for DRX, right? Less offensive gameplay, but. Uh, T1 themselves might want to go as Soul Deft. Yeah, taking a lot of damage. Brunelite Vigil comes down. The Deft Charge is there as Kerry is going to fight Deft. He will die for it. But still, that's an extra assist. And you'll say it's worth if you're T1 because you've got a bit of extra. The second Drake of the game. And with all of their bot side control, they will be able to collect it. We'll have to have a look at what the uh, Soul is going to be in this game after that one goes down. And it will be... Happy yeah, Atlas. There we go. That's the carrier, now Pyoshik at level 8, does have his ulti available. And there's also an Ari oh, coming down at the same time. Boy. Owner is here, a big teleport as the train has left the station, but Def might be dead before it happens. Good stun comes through, the stun is there from the Scion in response, and the Viego falls. Very happy to scale, even though there is sort of that classic front-to-back style of uh, team fighting composition. T1 have a lot of tools to get work done in the late game. Uh, Shirley will come through. Train is going to be utilized just to block a depth charge. And King is going to punch Shirley in the face. All right, so we have two monstrously fat members. We have Deft on one hand, as he now picks up Solo Turret Gold as well. And then yep. we have, oh, saves on the other as they yeah, go great in. Great hook, that's the Shadow Surge as well. As the Solar Flare goes down, King and will die as Owner's going to pick up the first reset. Turns into a Scion as well, which is pretty scary. Now looking to chase after them. There are two Scions. <laughs> two Scions? What a nutty time to be alive. As uh, owner's gonna heartbreaker, and that's going to disable one of the scions. The other scion will uh, will die. And uh, WTF, two uh, scions, very cool. As it turns out, not having your AD carry when you're team fighting is a bad thing. Yeah, I uh, I would put that in the cons column. Yeah, yeah, you, I, I think you should. Um, uh, as I was getting into when uh, carrier found that hook and mid, uh, we are currently looking at a T1 that has a uh, Zeus that is monstrously accelerated obviously already a big menace and if you get Cyrilda's grudge like very very far ahead of towards a potential soul point in the next four minutes Kimushi holding the fort here in the mid lane and he does have Featherstorm available as well as cleanse and flash and uh, doesn't have to use very much right now Featherstorm does come out as now Beryl trying to get out of here has to flash the shadow surge otherwise Faker was coming, Death Charge comes down, and that means Owner is going to help secure the kill onto the Leona. And Pyoshik dies pretty much as an afterthought as he was caught in the way. This carrier off to the side, will find a hook here onto the Leona. The Eclipse is there, but he's not as tanky as he wants to be right now. And that is just free. And there's no response from DRX. Every engaged carrier has, go has, has Owner, it's actually the one for Owner to send a blade. Yeah. Um, Every engaged carrier goes for is a good one. Uh, that's just the problem, and that's something that no team has really been able to deal with. Uh, literally, they're 17 and 0. And as I say, that carrier goes in. I mean, it was a good attempted engage. It still was, and uh, like even with it's a zoning hook. That was a zoning. <laughs> well, you get the turret, so yeah, yeah, it worked. Yeah, gets a flash for that one as well. Q goes wide from Faker, but D Deft having to flash. Oh, absolutely. A lot of little things in the early game that really did end up cascading. Into DRX now, having a group mid, try and get control here, desperately looking for an outer turret as Featherstorm is going to be there to answer. The Blade Caller, fantastic, as Everfrost keeps Kingen in place. He is going to try and drive his way out, really decent drifting as Carrier gets over the wall and knocks everyone into the sky. Zayas picks up the kill onto Barrel as well as Faker finds some resets. He will go golden just to make sure that there's no follow up option. As Owner turns into depth and will get himself out of there. Oh, nice little pick up there from Zeka with the vision that they had available. But that is just a little bit of a consolation prize here for DRX as Pyoshik in this brush wants to try and trade, but he's not going to be able to. He just gets a little bit frightened and then Faker will finish him off with an Everfrost. What do you do? What do you do? Uh, I hope we get a replay of that fight because I want to answer here. As DRX now find themselves an 8,000 gold deficit. Like, uh, Charm is going to land as uh, Kerry is going to get punished for a moment. That is going to be the kill secured. I thought maybe there'd be some way for him to make it out because um, I started to just believe that T1 can't do anything wrong in this game, but that was a good pick off. And uh, DRX going to find some value here. Let's see what they're going to be able to get. As vision around this Baron pit is definitely paramount. Oh, One minute on the know. Drake as well as 
Yeah, Pioshek, I don't know what this was about, but it didn't work. Owner secures that kill. This is the problem, like, the idea behind the dive makes sense, right? Because the turret is almost down. Uh, okay, then. Yeah, uh, Heartbreak again? Yeah, just dives on forward. His owner takes a lot of damage. Down there securing it as the Baron has been started. Okay, DRX, let's see whether you can actually secure it. Oh? Well, they're doing it's it relatively slow. slowly. Yeah. I think they're going to get it, but, but die immediately afterwards. Well, Zekka is going to rotate over, gets the bad news that oh. there are a lot of people here, and the Baron is still very oh. healthy. Oh, no, not happening. Yoshik also not very tanky. Is going to get rid of Kingen from this area. The full reset going to come through, and Kingen, I think, is just going to die. No train has an option, and that is going to be T1's prize for catching out that Baron. Unfortunately for DRX, they just didn't have enough damage. Depth charge to come through here is Beryl, looking to try and keep his AD carry alive. Shadow Surge going to be avoided there by Death. And now Faker still looking to try and claim the life of the Aphelios and Death, wondering what the heck his options are, as he is going to be out of sidestep using the dead turret as Moonlight Vigil comes down, but he is still very, very dead. Kumiyoshi in the meantime, trying to come through and tidy that one up. Double kill for Zayas. This Jace unleashed and unstoppable. 10,000 gold the lead, 14 to 4 in kills. They've got a Cloud Soul as well, which in my opinion is absolutely fantastic. In other people's opinions, not necessarily so much they'll also be able to break open the base. T1 just too good, Atlas. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. DRX had some good moments, but even the plays that on paper looked like they worked out for them were then immediately met yeah, by like, a gold lead for T1. It's nuts. Uh, the Scion is also really dead right now as Ona turns into him, has a bit of fun there. He's going to go down relatively low, but the Nexus turrets are going to do exactly the same thing. Solar Flare from Barrel, but Ona, of course, has himself a stopwatch, so he's not dying. He's gonna flash, grab one last kill, and T1 are one step away from plus 29 and the 18 and zero. Per